Today's video is on perimeter, area, surface area, and volume, part two. So our focus will be on surface area and volume. Definition, surface area is defined as the total area of all surfaces of an object. For exam purposes, the two objects we will be tested on is the rectangular prism, the box, and the cylinder. Keep in mind, the different equations will be provided. So again, the definition. If I ask you for surface area, what I'm actually asking you for is the area of all surfaces making up the object. So I need you to add area of the top, which is length times breadth. I multiply by two because the top and the bottom are identical. Area of front, which is the length times height. Again, I multiply by two because the front and the back are identical. Area of side, which is actually the breadth multiplied by height. So the breadth multiplied by height. Again, we times by two because the sides are identical and then we add it all together. So I'm going to use a formula. Surface area is equal to two L times B plus two L times H plus 2b times h. In my example, my rectangular prism has a lid, so I'm going to multiply by 2. You're going to keep in mind, if in your context there is no lid, you will not multiply by this 2. So step 1, write out your formula as is. Step 2, substitute. My length is 17. My breadth, six and a half. Two comes down, length, 17, height, three and a half. Plus, two comes down, breadth, six and a half, and height, three and a half. So step one, equation. Step two, substitute. Step three, I'm going to put this into my calculator and come out with an answer of 385,5. Remember, the unit for surface area is centimeter square. When it comes to a cylinder, once again, your equation will be provided. Surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 times pi times r squared plus 2 times pi times r times h. Once again, if in your example, the cylinder does not have a lid, you are not going to multiply by this 2. Remember, pi r square is area of a circle. So this 2 is actually area of the top circle as well as the bottom. Now, another way in which this question is phrased in the exam, rather than asking you directly to calculate surface area, you could be asked to calculate the amount of cardboard needed to make this box or amount of material needed. So that's it for surface area. We're now going to move on to volume. So once again, two shapes being the rectangular prism as well as the cylinder. Again, the different equations will be provided. So volume of my rectangular prism is L times B times H. Volume of the cylinder is pi times R squared times H. So the definition of volume, it is the space inside a three-dimensional object. So my volume is actually all the space inside, inside the 3D object. We'll take an example. Calculate volume of a cylinder. If diameter is 3 centimeters, height is equal to 11 and a half centimeters, just centimeters. So step one, write out your formula. Step two, substitute. So I'm going to substitute for pi, 3,142. R is not given, but
But because diameter is given, I can calculate r. Radius is equal to half of d. So I'm going to take 3 divided by 2. My radius is 1,5. Remember to square that. My height is also given. My height is also given 11,5. So this goes into my calculator and I'm going to come out with an answer of 81,299 centimeter cube. Now, if you are asked to round off to two decimal places, you're going to look at the third digit. Because this is five and above, it means the nine is going to go up one position. So it's actually 81,3 centimeter cube. So volume, I will be required to use the equation as is, or I could be challenged. And in my question, volume could be given. And radius is given. And I am required to calculate height. So if that is the case, again, I'm going to stick to my steps. Step one, equation. Step two, substitute into the equation. So I'm going to substitute for volume, 81,3. I'm going to substitute for pi, which is a constant, 3,142. Radius is also given, so I'm substituting 1.5. I'm going to remember to square radius, and my height is unknown. So what I actually have is a linear equation with one unknown. So the rule is the unknown stays where it is. I'm going to keep the unknown on the right-hand side of the equation. And everything else is going to move across the equal to sign to the left-hand side of the equation. So let's start. H comes down. 81,3 stays. And this is going to go over the equal to sign. Now, 3,142 multiplied by radius multiplied by h. So this is multiplication. When I take it over, it's going to be division. So that's divided by pi times 1.5 squared. So this goes into my calculator and I'm going to come out with an answer of h is equal to 11,5 centimeters. Likewise, in your exam, you could be given volume, you could be given height, and you are then expected to make radius the subject of the formula.